Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. Well last night I finally broke down and I bought myself a new bow fishing reel. So here it is. It's the AMS Retriever Reel Pro and or Retriever Pro Reel. I've been looking at getting one of these for a while and you know I've been talking to a bunch of my friends and they're like, yeah, you know, you should probably try and get one of those. I usually use a drum style reel, but Bow fishing is a little different. The bow fishing that I'm used to back in Hawaii is a little different than what I'm doing now in my canoe. So I figured this would probably help me out. I'm going to try it out anyway. But uh, when I put this thing together, I was thinking, I've never shown you guys how to make one of these. Uh, this is kind of my version of a traditional gadget adapter. It's it's roughly based on the AMS adapter and I really like that adapter I use it on my traditional bows that don't have a sight mount the only problem is that it's not that secure on PVC bows you need to modify it a little bit and I don't like to really modify things that I pay good money for and so I built this it's made out of PVC pipe and because it's curved, you can see it's got a curve to it, it really fits onto the limbs of PVC bows, whether it's going on the side of the limb or on the front of the limb. And you can't see it right now, but it's got two mount holes for your sight mount, so you could actually use this to mount a sight on your bow. And it's got a 5 16th hole on the front for you know other types of reels, the front mounted reels, and also for stabilizers and things like that so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I build one of these it's pretty simple all the parts are pretty easy to come by so let's get started to start you're gonna need a piece of PVC pipe I'm using half an inch schedule 40 electrical conduit just because I prefer this color over white plus it's got UV stabilizers in it so it won't get brittle if you don't paint it and I usually don't like to paint these things because they're going to get scratched up and I don't want paint transfer so this is what I'm going to be starting with this is cut to six inches long you're going to need two uh, these are called T-nuts <laughs> so you can see it's basically a a little sort of threaded piece here with a backing and these little teeth. We're going to use these and this will hold in securely so that you're not actually threading your your uh, bow fishing reel or your sight into the PVC itself. You're drilling it into or you're screwing it into this. So it's going to be a really secure hold. Plus you don't need to worry about pieces falling off or you know, if you used a separate nut, you wouldn't have to worry about that falling off or anything like that. So, here's that. You're going to need two of these. And this is a, I believe, a 1024 uh, thread size. So I'll have it in the, direct, uh, in the description in case I got that wrong. You're going to need two of these. And then, optionally, if you're going to be using the center hole, for a stabilizer, you're going to need a 5 16th nut. So, to get started, you want to heat this pipe up and completely flatten it. I'm going to do that real quick. I'm just going to step on this thing. You could clamp it down if you wanted to. Stepping on it works as well. Okay, once the pipe's been flattened, you want to make some markings. So I went ahead and marked one inch from the ends, and then three quarter inch from that end mark, that one inch mark. So one and three quarter inch in, you want to make a mark. 
you mark right in the middle and you want to mark the exact center. So you want it to be centered this way and centered this way. It's pretty important that you get these measurements as exact as you can because otherwise this isn't going to fit. But so from here you want to measure half an inch and then 5 30 seconds. It's easier to explain it this way. So measure out half an inch and then 5 30 seconds of an inch. Do the same thing here so that the distance from here and here is 1 inch and 5 16th. That's AMO standard for the distance between centers on a sight mount. So once you've got that, I have a uh, this is a half an inch bit in here. I like using this because it allows me to center it a little easier. So I'm going to go ahead and drill my holes. So I'm going to drill the center one is going to become 5 16th. These two are going to be 1 fourth or a quarter. So here we go. <laughs> to be super exact with this hole because it really doesn't matter where it is uh, if you're going to be using it as a, a center between these two then it does but for what I'm going to be using this for it can kind of be wherever it needs to be just you don't want to get too close to these because you don't want to weaken them so now that that's done we'll put our nuts in okay so now what we need to do basically mount these into the PVC pipe here. What I'm going to do is really simple. I'm going to start off by heating around here just a little bit and then sort of press these in just a little. Then I'm going to heat these metal pieces. They're going to heat up and they're actually going to heat the pipe enough so that you can press these into the pipe itself and that's how they'll hold themselves in. So rather than just explain it, here we go. So when you push them in they actually go in a little bit. Okay. Now okay. flip it over You just want to press the pipe onto these and I would just let it puff out a little bit so that it's flush. So what I mean is you can see how it's flush to there. Just want to push it in a little bit. You don't want it to go underneath. Some of your strength is going to be coming from this being just a little up above the pipe. So you just want to hold that until it cools, shouldn't take too long. So you can see these are nice and flush, or they're nice and flat. They're not going anywhere. So when you tighten up these, when you tighten up your bolts, it's actually going to press against this here. That's going to create a really nice secure hold. So there it is. That is the main part of this. Now we're just going to go 
and follow our lines in here. And we're going to heat right along first, right along this line on both sides and bend it. And then we're going to heat it down here and bend it back. I'm going to show you how to do that. So. So as you can see, I'm pushing down, I'm pushing like this. Well, it helps if you go against something. So there's our first bend. Get that cool a little bit. That's all ready to go. I'm going to heat up these ends and then bend it back. And you want to kind of exaggerate it a little bit so you can see how it actually doesn't lay flat like this but it sort of comes up a little bit. We're going to correct that in the next step which is going to help us conform it to the bow. Now if you were just making this adapter for a regular longbow recurve that has a flat back or flat sides, leave it as is. Just keep it like this, it'll work a lot better. If you're making this for a PVC bow or a bow that has drastic curved limbs, then you're going to need something, you're going to need to do this next step. So I'm going to heat this up and then we'll move on. Okay, so here it is. You can see that. There's about a half an inch of space between the, the back of this and the back of our bow. Well, our stand-in bow right now. So this would work for, you know, a regular bow, regular long bow or recurve with flat back or sides. Now, all right, in order to conform this to a To allow this to conform to a PVC bow, we're going to be using a one inch pipe or a one and a quarter inch dowel or really the bow limb that you're going to be working with. But this is going to be hot, so it's probably going to ruin your bow if it's already painted. So just use this as a stand-in. This will get you the approximate curve and that'll just be enough to work. So you want to take... hold on. You're going to need heat protection. In fact, you should use heat protection for this whole thing. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to heat this up. And I'm heating up the end until the two ends separate and it becomes very pliable. Okay. So you see it's separated. So you take your PVC pipe and you just go ahead and press it down like this. So you can see I'm just pulling it in like this with my fingers and pressing it onto the pipe as if it were the bow. So you can see it's getting that, that nice curvature to fit the bow. You just hold it until it cools down. And then we're done. Do the other side. Still a little warm. All right. And here it is. Your mount is all finished. If you were to use this for a stabilizer, so here I've got a stabilizer. So you want to screw your stabilizer in once, and it'll kind of put a thread onto the PVC. So you can secure your stabilizer on like that. Pretty straightforward. Once you've got it the first time, you can just sort of hold on to the nut while it's on the bow and unscrew your stabilizer. So the nut isn't doing all the work because 
the PVC will actually hold a thread. But it's just as a reinforcement because it's, you know, it's plastic, it's not that strong of a hole. But that's it. So now I'm going to show you guys what I do to put this on a bow.